In terms of visual literacy and critical thinking, images can be very powerful tools for communicating messages, and people need skills to be able to interpret those messages and uh, have thoughtful responses. Caring about visual literacy is caring about knowing. It's caring about sort of um, exploring in deep and deep and serious ways. It's about examining to try to sort of understand things. In contemporary culture, it's become all too endemic to take things on face value, to not think, to not probe, to not ask for evidence, to be manipulated as a result of that. And sort of we can see that all the way all around us in the decisions that people make. Being visually literate and critical thinking go, go hand in hand, and one, one develops, develops the other. So someone who is visually literate is capable of accommodating multiple interpretations, understanding that you can generate multiple interpretations, and is much more forgiving of other people's interpretations of exactly the same thing. Most people, they, they take in millions of images and they don't think about most of them. If you're trained to engage your senses, especially your visual sense, you will understand that the process of vision is the engagement of what it is that we're looking at. So this flow of vision to cognition to memory is the essential ingredient of being able to think critically. It's not critical in thinking if you just don't notice anything that you see. It's only critical when you take the time to process the engagement. So the ability to take on knowledge, the ability to accumulate new knowledge is essentially critical thinking. So being visually literate matters because we live in an increasingly visual world. So it's super important because we need to be critical of these things. We need to call out things that are wrong or we need to not be misled by certain types of images. The ability to interpret the same data set, the same image, in lots of different ways, is a form of critical thinking.